Hello, my name is Carter Nelson, and I did the electrooculogram. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary describes an electrooculogram as a device that records the difference of the electric charge between the front and the back of the eye that is correlated with the eyeball movement, such as that in REM sleep, and obtained by electrodes placed on the skin near the eye. The biosignal that the EOG monitors is a bio-optical sig signal. These signals may be naturally occurring or be an induced measurement by flashing lights into the eye or other stimuli. The uses of the EOG, when the eye, with the eye it acts as a dipole, the positive end is the anterior, the negative is the posterior. The EOG is used to track eye movement such as that in computers, especially for paraplegics, like Stephen Hawking could use one of these, or the EOG is also used to assess the function of the pigment epithelium, which is the uh, membrane of the eye that detects the changes of, in light and also helps process with distance. The Im implementation of this device, electrodes are placed on either side of the eye. Ground, the ground electrode is placed on either the forehead or the earlobe and a chin rest is preferred to stabilize the head so no other electromuscular signals can be picked up by the EOG. The circuitry for an EOG is very similar to that of the EMG that we built in the lab. The diodes are attached to the body. A ground diode is attached to another part of the body away from the uh, input diodes. The bio-optical signal is acquired, amplified, and filtered. Here's a basic uh, flowchart of the circuitry involved in an EOG. The electrodes go into an amplifier, which goes into a high-pass filter. This is then amplified a few times, which then the signal is fed through a low-pass filter. And then it's isolated uh, to an analog to digital converter, which is then read by a computer. The difference circuitry from my research, most of the EOGs are pretty much the same. The only differences that I could really find was the different chip manufacturers for the op amps. The limitations of the EOG, the most prominent limitation with the biosignals are like other biomechanical devices. The biosignals are often very weak and have a lot of noise accumulated with the signal that you're looking for. Currently we pick up the signals using the same diodes as the EMGs. Uh, possible improvements would be circulated around the diodes picking up the signal and getting closer to the theoretical values for all circuitry, but that just comes with an increase uh, of technology as well as an increase as well as further development in material engineering. These are the references that I used for my uh, for my PowerPoint. Uh, thank you.